I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed tonight's show. Uh, if you're a member of our Patreon family, I will be on Patreon tomorrow night at 10.05 after NXT. Uh, I originally was going to take Wednesday off, but since it looks like I'm going to be recording that conversation with Misha Montana on Thursday, uh, Wednesday should be still in play, so I'll be here Wednesday night. And I, I wasn't going to say this publicly, but I'm going to say it anyway. There's a certain podcast show, TV show, that I actually respect and enjoy. It's a wrestling show. It's on television. And um, apparently they're not a fan of Misha Montana, which I, which is fine. I respect that. You know, not like friends. But, uh, you know, this person went out of their way to say to me, oh, there's no reason for you to do this interview. Another place already interviewed her. Yet this show, their entire history on being on TV is interviewing people who have been interviewed thousands of times in their lifetime. You know, I'm having a conversation with her. I'm not having an interview. Sure, we're going to talk about some XPW stuff. We're going to talk about her health scares, you know, having heart surgery, the stroke. We're going to talk about Matt Riddle. We're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about mental health. We're going to talk about some of the reasons why the guy was off TV. We're not going to get too deep into it. It's not my place to get that personal. But, you know, we're having a conversation just so people get a feel as far as what's going on. And um, that's all it is. So for anybody to tell me, oh, you don't need to do it, so I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just, uh, just thought that was a little bit much to say it nicely. So, but I don't want to spend too much time on this, but because it is something that has taken over almost the, uh, or dominating the pr live premiere chats that we have, and I consider it a waste of time, uh, about two wastes of time as far as I'm concerned. You have a wannabe Andrew Dice Clay and a wannabe Howard Stern wearing their sunglasses at night um, that do this program out of New York. I don't know them. They could be fine human beings for all I know aside from their little personas that they try and project. But for whatever the odd reason, it seems like a lot of their programs, or at least the links that are sent to us by the fans, are dominated around our shows about, about me, you know, being the uh, uh, Joe Exotic of professional wrestling, abusing all of the, uh, the wrestlers like Joe Exotic did to his Tigers at his amusement park or whatever that was down south, and you... There was a video with the thumbnail of you from the uh, TD Garden sold out with over 4 million people watching you on the USA Network saying that you're the most boring man in professional wrestling. Wow, that's a surprise because if they saw the... There are a couple of guys up in Long Island, New York named Monty and the Pharaoh. For whatever yeah. reason... Bullies. I don't know what it is, but for whatever bad, reason... Bad, bad bullies. Absolutely. Bullies. They are bullies. Yeah, go up, reason, guys. Come on. Y'all are Monty grown men. Monty don't like me. Monty used to like me a lot. They need to get a life. You know that? Get but a life. Y'all are grown like men. Me. Grown men. Get a life. Exactly. Get a, exactly. Get a life. You're grown Get men. a damn life. There. So, I, I mean, said you, it. You get off picking on a 63-year-old man. You know, go ahead. Yeah. Get That's a damn fine. life. Really. Go for it. You know, a 63-year-old disabled man, by the way, too. Yeah. Get a life. I dare you to say something about him. If you have um, something to say to Angelo, say it to me. Come on. I dare you. Well, you just invited Come on. I wrestled in, in Puerto Rico and Japan and was fantastic for Ring of Honor. And I just want to give one other quick um, uh, memorial to the passing of Monty and the Pharaoh's YouTube show. And I'm glad that, that that's one thing I am glad to see dead and buried. And I hope that they put it in like the same, like take they take all the videos and put them in the same place that they stored all those Atari ET uh, cartridges that they buried out in the desert in a in a in a toxic waste dump because that's where that stuff belongs. And by the way, Monty, fuck you. I'd like to just give a quick shout out. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Thank you very much. We can continue. Okay. The opinions of the rest, those might not re reflect the, the rest of us. Not that. No, but it completely reflects friends. my feelings about mine. That's your. He that's shouted your, out me on his show. Some kind of I'm, to come out. Here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jonathan, wait, let's let Jonathan say here. Yeah. I was just going to say, I suspect there might be some kind of backstory here, but. Yeah, uh, there is. And he, he took his time out of his last show to bash me and Evan personally. So I'd like to personally take time out of my show to bash him completely. One of the two shows is still on the air and the other one is dead and buried. 
a receipt. Let me get to a little few. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler and broadcast, Monty the Fire, only seen here out of Indie Music TV. Jared at the board. Jared, how are you, friend? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing good. Great show on Saturday, I want to tell you. Me and Jared were talking about because we went and had uh, some diner food uh, over. What's the name of that diner? Airport uh, Diner? Airport Diner, yeah. Let's give them the props. Airport Diner, always good to rip your stomach out. <laughs> and we were kind of talking about how we had the hot jada chichillian and there's nothing worse than coming out of the bathroom and uh jada getting a whiff of what maybe jared is cooking (laughs) holy omelet (laughs) one yeah one good omelet we we, what we were saying like if you had one percent chance of hooking up with jada chichilli you just lost you lost that you lost you have lost it. Well, Jared, that stinks. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of Saturday, Master Lock, how you feeling? I feel like shit, and by the way, it wasn't very nice of you and you to leave me unconscious and wake me up 20 minutes before tonight's show. That's it. I'm like lying on the floor for days. Thanks a lot. Thank wow. you very much. Yeah, appreciate it. And that. again, I want to thank everybody yeah. who donated towards, because thanks to you, Faro. What? So um, a do? donation is going to St. Jude's Children yeah, Hospital. I'm still waiting good. on a little money to come through that we're promised in a donation that I physically didn't get. Okay. But uh, <laughs> got to really thank everybody. A uh, little roll call before right. we go. We what got, we got? ESO in the house. Bruce. By the way, ESO is you, part Bruce? of the Monty and the Faro Network. Nice. Um, it's called the After Show, along with Christopher Lee. Hello, mate. They're doing the Wait, After Christopher Show. Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee. Wow. Um, I thought he was dead. No, oh, that's boy. the wrong Chris, Chris Lee, but I call him Christopher. <laughs> Christopher Lee. I hope he's not dead. No, no not Chris um, Lee. They do the After Show, which will take place about 20 minutes after the show ends on every Thursday. Oh, very good. Um, so very we're good. really looking forward to that. And thank you, ESO, for putting that together with Chris. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. Um, I also have a special announcement. Starting on Mondays, we are bringing on a, we're bringing a whole bunch of new shows, but the first one is – the after show. Mm-hmm. And then on Mondays, we have Mondays with Marty Janetti. Mm-hmm. Marty's back, so it's not mm-hmm. Party with Marty, but it's Mondays with Marty Janetti. Um, we're taping the first show this weekend, and it will be uh, canned so everybody could see it as we work out some some kinks. Okay. Uh, people in house, Jason, how are you, Phil? What's first up? lady up? of wrestling in the hello, house. Hello. What's John, happening? what's up, man? Good to see you. Let's see. J.A. Will, love your brother. Always Jay great Will. to see you, my friend. What's going on? R.J. Hudson. R. J. J.B. in the house. J.B. Um, a mess in the house. Of course. Got to have a mess in the house. Yeah. What else we got? Did I miss anybody else? Let's see who else it says as the audience is growing. Nice. Uh, nice. Sorry, guys. In. Bear with me a little bit. I'm just scrolling down. Share Loose. Bear? Loose is bear. there. No, no share, Bear. Okay. What's uh, up, Loose? What's going on, Loose? So, one thing. Yeah. I mean, not to mention it, but yeah. did you like when Jada attacked your receding hairline? Not particularly, but... You, you know. got Farrow. You got I mean, a little angry. About, got a little think angry. About, think about the weekend I had. I had Chris Masters basically, uh, you know, put me into La La Land, and then I had some uh, hot chick call me bald. With you sitting next to me. I'm bald. Well, Bunch she didn't get to bullshit. see how fat I am, so that was an advantage. When she you're behind did when the we table, took the gets... picture together. Yeah, that's true. But she didn't... She, <laughs> didn't, she was great. She, she was didn't cool. say, God, she was so... What She's a beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, no, she was gorgeous. gorgeous lady. Absolutely. So you saw the intro video so of, was, of just so some of the few haters of Monty and the yeah, Pharaoh. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. You know, with tongue in cheek, we mm-hmm. put Dan in there, which Dan is uh, always was 
entertaining with his comments. Oh, Dan was hilarious. Right? Come on, he's hilarious. But did you enjoy the people hating on you? I love it. It's the reason I get up every morning. And we're going to get it. The first, uh, the first one on that episode was Don Tony from the Don Tony Show. Don Tony's a nice guy. You I like Don Tony. I like Don Tony. You could be a big this, fan of Don this, Tony. Well, I, well, I don't. A week ago, you didn't even know who he was. Here. I didn't even, I, well, I was going to get to that before. You know, I'm not going to BS anybody. Well, maybe a little. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't really know anything about him, but when I saw the video, I thought it was pretty funny. But we're, we're going to discuss <laughs> that like, in a little okay. while. <laughs> um <laughs> So I want to go some little news, my friend. Yeah. A yoga teacher thought that she was suffering from anxiety and allergies. She had three heart attacks in less than a month. Ooh. Dina Pinelli okay. thought she was the epitome of health until she had three heart attacks in June 2020. By midway through her attempt... Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. I jumped Whoa, ahead. Oh, she, she, she walks 5K every day. For, right. What, she, what so the... 5K, she found herself draped over the treadmill with chest pain and shortness of breath. I was so angry at myself for being not being able to do it. I was pushing it, she told the insider. I tried to take this positive. Now Pinelli is sharing a story as a volunteer of the American Heart Association. She wants other women to know the signs of a heart attack. That she missed. That's... I'm trying to look. I've, so far, I've been very fortunate. I haven't had a heart attack of any kind, but I'm, I'm trying to grasp that you can have a heart attack without even realizing it. Is that possible? I mean, I guess that happened to her. It happened to me. You well, share, share. So I think I, again, I don't know when the heart attack took place, right? Oh man! So I went. I was cutting. I went to the gym. Worked mm-hmm. out two and a half hours. Okay. okay. Is that all? Then I went Oy. to cut the lawn. I was cutting the lawn, <laughs> cutting and the lawn I got that. a okay. burning down my right arm, not my left. Okay. And I remember saying to myself, like, holy shit, because it wasn't like a normal. It was like it froze my body for a second. Ooh. I actually heard like almost a pop like it, in myself. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And I remember saying to myself, all right, calm down. This isn't what you think it is because you just ha- – I had a stress test four months before and everything was clear. Okay. Um, but – I decided to stop cutting lawn. Like, I was nervous all of a sudden. Something wasn't right. So right. I pretty much chilled out in the house. The next day, I went for a walk with my wife, just walking, and my lungs started to burn. Ooh. And then I'm thinking to myself, now I'm so thinking, like, thumbs. stupid. No, but I'm thinking, I must have hurt my back at the gym. Because I've had back problems from working sure. out heavy, right? Yeah. Okay. And I call my cardiologist. I don't want to get too deep into it. Yeah, I want to bore right, everybody. The next weekend, we're with Nikita Koloff. If everybody yes. knows when Nikita oh, was in geez, I remember this. So, uh, yeah. stupid me forgot where the hell I parked my car. So, now I'm panicking, right? Because we have to get Nikita to a signing. Right. We had a lot of stuff to do that yeah. day. Yep. And I, I was remember. sweating like a pig. And I don't know if you remember. So, that night, we're doing the show. Right? It was a long yeah. day already. We were at the signing, right? Oh. And what was I telling you? I said, I feel like I'm having a heart attack, right? Yeah, I right? do not feel right at all. I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Right. Yeah, I remember that. And then you walked off away. From everybody. Yeah. So that's the thing I remember. I says, where's Mike? And we were outside. There was a big line. Demo- wait a minute. Demolition? Demolition, yeah. They yeah, were yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a we big... interviewed Demolition that day, yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a big line, and, and I walk out, and I'm going, where is Mike? And way down the block, hanging by a like a shrub. Look at this. A mess just wrote. You. I didn't Bend know over. what was happening to me when I had my heart attack. Yeah. Unless you're going to have to oh. share one of these times. Yeah. Um, man, oh, man. Jay Will says a lot of young people are having heart attacks. Yeah. He's right. Yeah. But. I wonder why. In the end, I went to my cardiologist, like, right after, it was the same day as election day, mm-hmm. and I remember I get there, and they're like, you got to get to the hospital. Before you know it, I'm on the table, and they're doing a stent. And then they're like, you got two more blockages, but they're small arteries, We'll get to, we, your heart's already been through enough because right. um, your heart has your heart doesn't work at one hundred percent. I didn't know all the shit until this all happened. Oh, well, I would your think. heart doesn't work at one hundred percent capacity, right? It works at sixty five percent capacity. Huh. The only time it goes to okay. about one hundred percent capacity when it's under a tremendous amount of stress, right? Because that's when it right. Okay. So, um, huh. so for example, after my heart attack, my heart capacity went from sixty five or whatever it was to thirty five. Ooh. Right, so drop. I damaged my heart. That's a big drop. And yeah. their thought process, they basically said to me, don't expect it to come back, right? Because <laughs> once you have a heart attack, you, 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 your heart muscle starts to die. Right. Um, so if everybody remembers when Triple H had his issues, right. his heart capacity was at 
four percent, I think. Are you serious? Yeah, he was. You can exist on. 4%? He was. He was on his deathbed. I figured. You Triple can. H was very close to dying. People wow. don't realize. Um, so I'm assuming. I don't know what his capacity of his heart is now, mm-hmm. but I'm assuming he doesn't have full recovery of it. Wow. Um, for me, for example, my heart recovered 100%. Nice. After a month, they're like, nice. your heart's back at full capacity. I forget the name. How uh, often does that happen? Is that the, were you in the Look, I, you know what? I don't, want, I don't want to like oh, speculate at all. You. I just well, was at least like, it happened, I was period. happy. Yeah. That's all I knew. Knock on the table again is, if, is, if, I was if happy. you feel like it. Maybe, um, maybe I will. There you go. All right. Uh, Jay Will says, a friend of mine says, a uh, 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 bare aspirin is good for you. I'll tell you this. They took me off aspirin because wow. if you're on blood thinners, I'm sure a mess when you're on, right. after your heart attack, you're still on blood thinners. Mm. Um, they usually, sometimes they take you off. I'm still on them. Okay. So that's why I'll, I'll bruise pretty easy. Okay. Speaking of all that, I've So that's out. why you didn't take the Master Lock Challenge. No, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't take it. it. You know, I don't need my fucking, <laughs> but um, I have put on way, way too much weight. Um, right. Little wrestling news. Bailey's attempt, first of all, we speaking about Marty Jannetty, we were talking about, uh, you know, probably one of the great angles of all time when Marty Jannetty gets thrown through the glass window at the barbershop. Yeah, the, the, Again, yeah. we were speaking about it, like, what did that mean to you when Sean turned on Marty as a wrestling fan? Oh, back then I looked at wrestling much differently than I do today. I was I was really shocked by it. I was like, wow, I can't believe Sean just did that. I was actually... Uh, I guess there's a fan who would, uh, I was kind of like pissed at him. I was like, wow, what the frig did he just do? Then I realized how great it was. I was like, wait a second. I'm probably going to think about this moment forever, and uh, we're still talking about it. Exactly. Uh, I don't want to I want to stay on that subject, but I just want to say the Met, a mess says his heart's at 40, 40%, Ooh, um, okay. and he says it won't get any better. Again, Damn. your heart can operate yeah, normally well, at 35%, yeah. 40%. It's wow. fine, okay? Interesting. Um, Bain says, my father had two strokes during the 90s, stents and a pacemaker with built-in defibrillator. He lived till 95. Wow. Well, that's great, Bain. That's an A-plus. I can only hope that happens to me, I guess. Damn. So, great point on the Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty thing. So, for NXT fans, uh, Ding Dong Hello. (laughs) Ding Dong! Had toxic attraction on. I like saying it. I'm sorry. I I, I, I I love it. Ding Dong! Hello! (laughs) I love it. It's hilarious. Gigi Jolin and JC Jane, right? Two thirds of Toxic Attraction because mm-hmm. we all know that Mandy Rose was the leader of that group. Yes, it, and that yeah. had a group that you know they had the potential to right. be. So, but what happened on Tuesday night rivals, in my opinion, the Marty Janetti. Um, you really loved it, huh? I really loved it. It was brutal. I'll give you that. So, Jared, run the Janetti through brutal. the window real quick for the fans. Let's see what this looks like. Give it one more time, bro. So this is pretty vicious. Okay, this yeah, is, this could be a prop piece of glass. It better and, be. And Marty, if that's and, real glass. Boy, oh boy, that hurts. And Marty's gigging himself or whatever. Sure. All right, now let's run this. <laughs> this is worse. Uh, this is <laughs> brutal. Watch, First of all, the door. No, no work. give on Ding Dong. Well, watch Hello this, there. folks. All right. Blended... One more time on that one through the door. Oh, no. oh, oh my God. Is... One more time to the door, then one more time for the kick in the face. No, Whoa! Jared's obsessed oh, with the kick in the face, and I can see why. God. First of all, the door has no give. What is that? Oh, my God. Uh, Dude, that kick this. In, that kick in the face. We are watching. Look, clearly that was just that a fuck up. That kick in the face is too much. Oh! Look at that. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, what do you say afterwards in the back? Sorry? No, you could say, ding dong, hello. <laughs> she was saying it at that very moment. Ding dong. Oh, oh my hello. God. That's, that's but brutal. But I, I got to tell you. Now, now when you look yeah. at both of those, yeah. which which one do you enjoy more? <laughs> yeah, I guess I got to admit <laughs> that that kick is one for the ages. It is. <laughs> And I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, but so's the Marty thing. I mean, what's going to wind up being more famous? Well, go stop it. It's it's always going to be Marty and Sean. But, but boy, oh, boy, that's one hell of a boot to the puss. That hurts. That's bad. John Ow. says, "I, oh, man, I have had ding-dongs in years. <laughs> wow. Well, that's a ding-dong I'm, you don't want. I didn't know. Ding-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ling. Yeah. Scott says that's what happens when you hear a ding-dong. So... <laughs> 
I could go for some ding dong. I gotta tell now you, that he brings it up. I'm kind of hungry. That kick has got me totally <laughs> like I like Toxic Attraction to begin with because of Mandy. Yeah. Now, now show yeah. show with everybody what you thought of uh, Gigi Dolan. Well, the whole thing is is with Toxic Attraction. You gotta forgive me. I've done a lot of drugs, folks. Well, the <laughs> thing with the thing with Toxic Attraction, I look at them and I would always think Sex in the City. You got three babes. You got the one that's obviously the the leader and the and the smoking one, and then you got the other one who's smoking, and then you got the redhead. And, it, and it's nothing against the redheads. I love I love a beautiful redhead like anybody else would. And this is a good picture, by the way. Uh, Jared, you're not helping me out. I wanted you to find photos where she looks like she usually does a foot. <laughs> Can you get me a picture of some overgrown toenails and fungus? Well, she, sometimes she has because, the look of the old lady with no teeth in her mouth. That's what look. I'm getting at. I know where you're getting. I know where you're getting at. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. Although that's a, that was a great picture, right, Jared? Hey, Jay Will says something great. What's Bret that? Hart. Wow, that is a smoking picture of her. She She's looks pretty great hot. There. It's, Jay it's Will says Bret Hart probably did not approve of that kick. No, absolutely not. I wonder if he consulted with his rabbi. Now, do you think Rabbi Goldberg? You think Gigi Dolan's crying? <laughs> to the, what? <laughs> You. I'll catch you. Hey, I'm sure you I'll will. I'll call you. Go. That was a funny. Dude, joke. that that four thirty five. Yeah, you kill me. What now? Where were we? You think Gigi JG Gigi <laughs> Dolan's complaining to the dirt sheets about what? About Being, the kick, getting kicked in I the face. I would be complaining about the pairings. You're making me look like a foot with these hot babes. No, I would be complaining about that. No, she. Well, is she complaining? See, that's a better picture. Put that up, Spidey. Hi. That's not. That's no, it is. It, it, it more helps my case. Hi. Of the two, yeah, who's mm-hmm. got more star potential, J.C. Jane or Gigi Dolan? Wow. What do you think? I think Gigi Dolan. All right, I'll go with. There's that. something. You know, you know that both names sound pretty good, though. Also. So they've got a head start. Bane says and she looks like a young version of Joyce Costanza's mom with orange hair. Thank you. Oh, my God, Bane. You're Thank right. You. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. I, I like her. I'm sorry. I'm not saying she's I a think bad she's hot. I'm just saying compared to Mandy. Well, the problem Wait a minute. Is, that's what you... Thank that, you. Say it. That's what I said. When you put anyone next to Mandy... You look like a foot. You know... You me- you never saw the movie Hall Pass, right? No, I never did. So there's and a, I never used one either. I was always cutting on my own. There you go. Go ahead. So Hall Pass is a movie. Okay. Uh, forgive me, guys. I have to explain this to Farrow because Farrow doesn't watch I movies. I don't even have a TV. Go it's, ahead. It's about a guy who gets a Hall Pass from his wife to go have sex with other women for wow. the weekend. The Hall Pass. Why did they give those out in high school? I would have loved that. Well, so anyway, they're hanging out with this guy, and he's like the he's like you back in the day. Oh, no. Getting all these women. <laughs> and he's trying oh, to show okay. them about stuff. So... He Three. goes, so he takes his hand, and it's this hot blonde, and he puts his fingers like this, Farrah, right? Yeah. And he focuses on her face, right? Yeah. yeah. And he's like, look at her, and she's like a, a five. Gross. She's a five. But then he puts, he goes, but she surrounds herself by a bunch of stool pigeons, and he spreads out his fingers like this. She becomes a ten, and you watch her face morph into a ten. This is a reverse. It's like Gigi <laughs> Dolan, <laughs> ten, bring in Mandy Rose, three. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You know, the grass is always greener on the other side of the... <laughs> That's what it really is. I don't like this lawn. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's rough. If you didn't know it, that is a star of the show, Mr. Jimmy Farrow. Jimmy, along with his partner, Bart Griggs, make up the band with Stereo Hall. They sing such great that songs. That, that Man, Chris Masters has ruined you your voice. me up, dude. Chris Masters is a good-looking guy. <clears throat> Bartman! See, I can't. He fucked me up, dude. It's over. From now on. No, it's not it's over, over. From Johnny. From now on, i got to go, Bartman. I like that's, that. That's, that's beautiful. I like that better. It's almost, it's almost sexy. It's almost sexy. Yeah, almost. Almost. <laughs> almost or almost. <laughs> no falsetto after Masters. Listen to a Siri Hall sing such great songs. <laughs> it's in my dreams this life. Not far behind. Here comes a rain. Find idea. their music on the Wisteria <laughs> Hall YouTube page. Hit like and subscribe. By the way, uh, Mitch Seinfeld keeps telling me that I've got to promote our YouTube page more. So I've got to tell people, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hit that button. Subscribe. Hit that button. Hit that button. Hit that button. Hit that button. Like, like, like. All right. The microphone just went out. Ah, what are you going to do? All right. Download their music on Subscribe. Apple Music and <laughs> Reverb Nation. If you didn't know, you are watching right Long there. Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, yeah. Monty Nefaro. You catch Monty yeah. Nefaro on the Monty Nefaro YouTube page where you have to like and subscribe. 
or go to the Monty and Faro <laughs> Facebook Live page. Here's on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Anchor. Catch us on the Monty and Faro Twitch TV page. And if you're lucky enough to live in New York, catch us on Channel 115 every Tuesday at 9.30 and Saturday at 11.30 a.m. and Channel 20 at 7 p.m. We want to thank our sponsor, Amazon. We'll be back where we're going to actually discuss Don Tony and his guest, Misha Montana. Oh, yeah. After this is what we're calling, if you... Oh, man. The f- Fuck. What are we calling it? Oh my God, Monty! <laughs> Do not judge, or you too will be judged. We shall see you in a sermon second, sir. Ah, Manscape. Uh huh. Uh, you know, have you tried the new equipment that's been sent? I'm afraid because it says weed whacker. <laughs> I'm scared. Maven, Manscape. What are you thinking about, Love Manscape, it. dude? You Love what, it. What do you use it for? Necessity. What? <laughs> What don't I use it for? Put it this way. The only hair I have on my entire body is these eyebrows. Yeah. That oh. you see. These wow. caterpillars racing to the middle of my nose. That's it. That is it. That's all, that's all I have. And that's all I want. That's the so pay- Manscaped there, is a you, must. We were talking before the show. There's nothing worse than just hair. Yeah. Right? Hair on a woman, hair on a man. It's just bad. Absolutely. And it's the one thing that the older I get, it starts growing more in unwanted areas absolutely i hate it i'm gonna ask you a question Uh-oh. just gonna go out there oh boy go for it you're doing a deed yes <laughs> again i don't want you to admit this because we as men we try not to admit this but if you're gonna oh, go do a deed it. on a woman I know would you rather going. have her be hairless or a little hair racing stripe or <laughs> racing stripe. full retro bush <laughs> racing well, stripe. retro bush is out yes thank you retro bush is out yeah um i don't mind a small, well manicured landing strip. <laughs> Every now and then, if it's completely, and I'm talking like baby's ass bald, mm. then I I start. Where is that pedophilia line Did that you? I'm that I'm I don't, I don't wow. want to wander into that. Yeah, that's very interesting. Like that. I never thought about. Wow. That. You're a smart dude. Holy yeah. shit. So if the landing strip is clean enough for the plane to go in smoothly, you're cool with that. If the landing strip is. Has like I said, well manicured. Yeah, you yeah. can see both sides. It's not like blinking lights on both I, sides of that. Plan. I just don't. I don't want. <laughs> you know, I don't want the shrubbery going off into yeah. unwanted areas on that. Gotcha. As well. Oh, yeah, look but, what you found. Ooh, I got to be all honest gotcha. though. Hey, the, ah. the, the older I get though, I don't. I think I don't think I can be as. Uh, <laughs> I found it! I found it! Have you ever gone down there and, like, just, like, she slowly brings down the underwear, then... What is... Retro. Absolutely. You're like, whoa! Wow! Like a 46. Like it pops out? Do you, like, walk out, or what do you do? No, I I muster through. I muster up the (laughs) current. This is a trooper. Yeah. This is a trooper. (laughs) Gotta give him an A. Not all all heroes wear capes. Yeah, I... No, I... I, I, Listen. I couldn't... I couldn't say... Super Bush! I couldn't say... Well... If you have the same beliefs as Maven does, Manscaped could help you. Absolutely. The weed whacker. Absolutely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I may have to, like, you know, go in a room, close the door, and hang out with the weed whacker for a little while. Yeah, I think you're a retro guy, aren't you? I like 70s adult films, if that's what you're getting at. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but with that, we're going to take a quick Batman. commercial break and anyway. be back with this wrestling icon, Maven. We will see you in a drop kick second. A uh, drop kick. The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude, good fucking wine. Yeah. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, only seen here out of Indie Music TV. Uh... Farrow, WWE, Jerry the King Lawyer, improving after stroke, uh, after stroke. Thanks, fan. Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawyer Lawler continues to improve after suffering a stroke on Monday in Florida. What does Jerry Lawler mean to you? Wow. A little role reversal here. Usually you ask me this. Think. I, as I'm older now, yeah. I hold Jerry Lawler in very very high yeah. regard yeah he's precious isn't he? yeah he is he's, he's precious he, he 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 and in fact i will tell you when we did meet him i always wanted to get him on the show just yeah. couldn't get it freaking semantics that would be worked so out great. yeah 
But remember when we, we met him, I think, at the big event, right? Mm. Uh, what he spent? He was talking to us for like 10 minutes about the Jets and the Browns. <laughs> I mean, the guy is just cooler <laughs> than shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Jerry Wall is great. And I, he's won it. Look, yeah, we could have head to head with problems. Bruno San Martino, the great Bruno San Martino. And we, Lawler won. Because Jerry Lawler is one of the all time greats. He just is. And what is it? What has he not excelled at? Promos, excelled. Wrestling, mm. excelled. Storytelling, excelled. Announcer, <laughs> excelled. What has he not excelled at? And in maybe prob- hang, maybe staying with women, but that's a whole different story. Then again, well, he's had some hot women that could be props up for him anyway. That's right. In the long run, I guess. I mean, we, didn't he get married to like a twenty-year-old or Jerry something like Lawler's that? Jerry Lawler is just a just a he's a rock star, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. He's a rock star. He is. And you know what? When I was a 14 or 15-year-old watching him slam that cup of coffee on oh Kaufman on yeah. the Letterman show, are you serious? Center of the universe, One man. of the great angles, That dude. was so great. What did that mean to you, that whole Kaufman? Everything. I thought it was great. Could, as a wrestling fan. Always liking Andy Kaufman on top of it made it even cooler. Again, I'll, I'll go back to it. I was not a wrestling fan, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I saw it when I was younger, wasn't into it. Jimmy got me into yep. it. Yep, right around that time, and, I and, believe. You know, it's funny. As a wrestling fan, you felt like you never got respect. Like, no one respected it. It was a joke. Being, it was laughable. Being a wrestling fan was like being a Kiss fan. Yes. You were going to catch shit for it. Right. Period. Yep. You were. And there's and there was certain things as soup as a sound that gave legitimacy to wrestling for us. Mm-hmm. One being Lawler and Kaufman. Yep. Unfortunately, another one. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I'm a stupid kid, right? Mm-hmm. So forgive me for this. But when Snooker took on the three police dogs and the police in that right. room, right? At the time, you didn't know it was higher than a friggin' yeah, cunt. yeah. And then. The real one? The, I, the, I like Schultz and Stossel. St- Schultz and Stossel. That was but, cool. the, but the main one to me was, and this is what put relevance, relevancy into wrestling, and okay. this is why everybody, you got to listen to me on this. This is why he's the greatest wrestler of all time. Rocky Three, Hulk Hogan, Sylvester Stallone. Hulk Hogan being in that movie yeah. legitimized wrestling for everybody. Yeah, all of a sudden, everybody took it seriously. You know yes. why? Because everybody made fun of fake wrestling, right. but they believed in the fake Rocky Balboa. Absolutely. He was a hero. Right. And people, even though it was an actor, no one believed it. It was right. like, it was Rocky. Now, now it was an interesting time for wrestling before Rocky Three, because oddly enough, the niche, or, it was like a well-kept secret, right? Yeah. Right. Yet, that well-kept secret was successful enough to sell out the garden, for the most part, month after month. It was mm-hmm. great. Right. But... Rocky three turned it into everybody knows wrestling is the shit now, you know. Hogan just took it. Into well, but a- that's that's why we make fun of the wrestling experts because right. the beforehand when yeah. they sold out the Garden right. was the twenty five thousand people little secret. Right. Their Correct. secret, right? Their own little, you're right. Their own little you're right. world. It, it wasn't mass yet. before it was infiltrated, Hogan, right? Right, and you, <laughs> I don't consider that. It, I don't consider Hulk Hogan infiltration at all. But if that's how purists see it, so JB be it. says they never. They say Loyola never drank or did drugs. Crazy. Mm. He 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 has what fifty years in wrestling. Yeah, man, yep. the guy is an icon. Yep. All right, dude. So. You you didn't really know Don Tony. We discussed it a couple of weeks sure. ago. Yeah. Um, sure. This week he had Misha Montana. Misha Montana. Misha Montana is a uh, a popular mm-hmm. porn star. Oh, there she is. All right. Okay. Um, she was on the Don Tony show. She's been on a lot of shows. Okay. And if you saw in the beginning, Don Tony was saying how we said to him. Why have Ron? And she's been on a thousand shows. Okay. Um, he had her on. He did a pretty good job. I gotta say, sure. He, okay. He's not. A, he's more of a solo guy that talks about everything that happened this week in wrestling, and he does a really. Uh, he's like this, like a weekly, a weekly review guy. Okay, and he right. and he's I, very I gotcha. detailed. I got to give the guy a lot of credit. He he okay. does his homework. Um, he's very look. The guy's been doing it since nineteen ninety. Been around a long time. He worked for ECW. Really now. What I mean when you worked for ECW again. Okay. This isn't being insulting towards hey, him or anybody I love else. ECW, but we got. You worked for ECW because what you did is you went around and you were a gopher for them for free. Oh, you know, okay. everybody, I, you know I, what I, I mean? Understand. When you're a gopher, you know, you can say, I "Hey, I was part of ECW. I did this." Look, I, half I, the wrestlers in there, you know. 
work for free. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. It, if that's what they enjoy, whatever. It, it, it ain't me. Let me tell you. I, I don't know if free I would, I, I don't know if I would call it part of my resume if I'm just going out to get roadkill well, beer. Well, wait a minute. If you I'm look, not sure what you, if, what if you the looked at it this are, way, but... if you were with ECW and you were 17, 18, <clears throat> 19, 20, 24, cool, okay? Man. And you were helping them. Yeah. At That's 55, cool. it would probably be a great memory for I would, I would think so. Right. So for him, I think it's a great memory. Sure. And he talks about his old stories. And yeah. again, he was with those wrestling experts that all ran in that click, you know. Okay. Uh, the, what's his name? Um, I'm not a big fan of wrestling experts, but okay. But you know what I'm talking about. Uh, what's his name? God, dude. John. John, the guy who we had in the studio. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I refuse to to, to mention. But his, but you, you, know. you get my point. So yeah, they, all, they all they all hang around it. Stuff, you know? But he did a very good. He did a good job. But he was. Throwing, oh, by the way, that's a Rezzy. But you know, a Rezzy. Thank yeah, you. But by the way, like John Arezzi, hey, John. Ginsburg, you know that whole that whole crew. There's a there's a niche there, right? There yeah. there's a whole yeah. crew guy. And it, look again when I say wrestling experts, they had their own little planet right? right they weren't infiltrated by right. what's happening now right. right right this is this is living torture for people that have been in the industry because clowns like you and me right are now involved we've infiltrated we've infiltrated like like covid is that how we've infiltrated Kinda, yeah. well too bad you guys better put on a mask fuck you monty <laughs> you better put on a mask and the horse you rode in on yeah yeah yeah! Ah, oh, shit, the 49 is lost! <laughs> Good God. But so... What a nerd. Tony Hurry. was throwing... Anthony was throwing softballs to her. Okay. I mean, literal softballs. Don Anthony? No, his name is... Well, what are you Don, doing? Yeah, his name's Anthony. <laughs> okay. Anthony de Blasi. Okay. That's pretty... That's, in his real life. That's pretty... That's pretty... Uh, Sells that's insurance. That's pretty Don-like. Sells insurance. Oh, shit. Be careful here. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, well, there's real life and there's make believe life, right? Oh, okay. Oh, so, so there's make believe is Don Tony. Work or shoot? Uh, right. There gotcha. You go. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm not really a pharaoh. At least I'm not. Well, then again, maybe I am. Am I a work or a shoot? What the uh, fuck? You're kind of like work shoot. Nice. You want to be in that middle. No, you thing know what? I'm, I'm wrong. You're more like a shoot work. I'm a shoot work. Because in real like you're kind of really like this. Yeah, kind of. Not completely. But, but real of. close. Living the edge. Yeah, you're, oh, that's for sure. Right? Well said. I agree with that. All right, so he's throwing so, it, softballs. So Anthony de Blasi's real life Mark is he's an insurance. Pitch, he's an insurance guy who lives in an apartment okay. in Queens, and he's married, and his wife oh. lives in a separate apartment. But nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Muscle tough. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Muscle tough. That, that's Jewish for congratulations, I guess. I don't, I don't. I think that's good. Wouldn't you like to be married and the wife live in a separate place? I well, a I'm divorced domain. and I live in a separate place, so why the fuck not? I think that's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> so he's throwing his softballs. Did you watch it at all? No, you know I'm not too. Big I thought on... you said you watched it. I watched a little bit of it. What and... I watched was him saying that he likes our show, and oh, why, that's, that's why all... we got to give us such a hard, got to give him such a hard time. Hey, that's all you got you know, out that's of it. All I got because Misha Montana doesn't do it for me. I wasn't going. Wow, I'm still kind of upset at the riddle thing. I'm gonna run and watch her. She'll probably say nice things about the guy. So it's kind of mean. So my wife's Riddle's watching mean. it with me. He's mean. And my wife, of course, says, yeah. "What do you think my wife says about Misha Montana?" What? Why? Oh, I want to take know. a guess. Tramp? No, she did it. She goes, "Wow, she's pretty." Oh, okay, cool. Because my ex would have been like, "Ah, that's wait tramp. a minute." But you see, you're missing the point. What am I missing? Okay. Because help me out. Honestly, I yeah. said to my wife, I said, Daniela is 10 times better looking. I agree with that. Thank, thank I, you. No, I do. Jared, you want to weigh in on that? Who's better looking? And be honest. I'm not, you don't have to roll with us on Me, this. Misha Montana. Misha Montana you know and Dan, Danielle Petra. Definitely Danielle. There By far, right? Yeah, it's I not agree. even close. It's I not agree. even close. You got a picture with Danielle? I don't know if the, if the audience caught that show. Did they catch that show? You might want to show the audience what we're talking about. Well, the, the, yeah, everybody yeah, watched that. That's Danielle. But you, you get her from the show, dude. Like, I like her with the cornrows better than you that one. You with your cornrows. But, so my point, my point to you is. <laughs> That's great. But the cornrows. But Somebody my point is, you know, of course, my wife's got to be like, oh, yeah, Misha Montana's gorgeous. Well, she's not ugly. I, uh, you know, but she's not gorgeous. Wait, is she not? So why do you think oh, maybe, Matt Riddle maybe? would choose Misha Montana over Daniela Petra? Um, I don't and I got to tell you, Daniela went crazy. She was all over. She was all over social media going over off this interview. Because, you know, Misha was protecting. He, he puts a picture up of her getting ready to cry. <laughs> That's 
that's not hot. That's a great What's picture. What's wrong with uh, She's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But t- could you show her happy and peppy and bursting? I don't know. She wasn't off? happy on that interview. Nah, she wasn't, man. She was. There's your cornrows. How you feel now? Look, Mike, it's your cornrows. There you go. Look, come on, dude. It's not even close. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty. For sure. Bain says he wants to see Don Tony interview Hannibal. Why? What? <laughs> Why would you, why you, would you just want to see this, Don you Tony needing interview a nap before Hannibal? work? I mean, what's the story there? That's interesting. Right. <laughs> okay. Who do you guys think is oh, hotter? Misha all. Montana. Please, guys, tune in, sign in, tell me who's better looking, Danielle Petro or Misha Montana. Oh, whatever hair I have left, I think is nicer than hers, for starters. But uh, no. A mess says she's got 10 tons of makeup on, on that picture. <laughs> Hit her with a hose, right, mess? <laughs> Hit her, Hit her with, with a hose. Let's now, see what she looks like. Evaluate this. What's up yeah. with the tattoo on the neck, bro? I don't get that. That must have, like, I've never had a tattoo. You have, so you could probably tell me that must have been so painful. What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, it's not even attractive to it, me. I don't know what it's doing there. It's, it's a like a giant spot. rose in the middle of your neck. That's I'm not a, even getting just, that, That's dude. a very strange spot for it. Jared, where do you think that should have been placed? Like on a cheek, perhaps? And I don't mean How facial. about Nowhere. Like, Anywhere don't but get the it. neck. Anywhere but right the there, right? And you thought Cody Rhodes had a tattoo problem. Dude, it's just like, I don't even get it. And I don't understand, like, women. Jared, weigh in on this. We were talking this with uh, Jada yeah. Saturday. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you, you know could be a young, attractive like woman you... and put a tattoo. Yeah, like, you, you know all of a sudden what... you're going to get turkey neck, and now you got this rose flopping right. around. Oh, right. gross, right. dude. Right. I'll take some wipes, and I'll also get a right. bottle of... Uh... Well, we're going to play a little yeah, game, rough. because you know what? It's not... Since we'll Danielle's a... a friend of the show, okay. we're probably a little biased, right? Because people are going to call us biased, but That's I don't think true, we are. But, uh, no, we're but not. we're going to compare Miss Montana to... Her peers in the business. To the other peers in the business. There you go. Now, Don Tony used the word dumpster fire. What's right? dumpster, dumpster fire? Dumpster fire was in reference to all the women that are upset because Matt Riddle broke up with them. Right, That's so they're dumpster, dumpster fire. fires, right? Very so they were both going back and forth, going dumpster fire. Whoa. So it's kind of the power to one. The, the only of one Danielle's thing story, I need you right. to weigh in on yeah. here is mm-hmm. if Misha is hotter than any of the girls we show up. Okay, go ahead. You say dumpster fire. Hit, okay. Otherwise, you say whoa, whatever whoa, whoa. else. Whoa. If wait a minute, I want to make If sure Misha is better looking than the the girls, the women that we're showing. I'll call them a dumpster fire. You you say dumpster fire. Right. If not, you you weigh in and tell me if the girl is better looking. Okay. And Jared, feel free to jump in first. So the first one up, we're going to put up porn star Dylan Harper. It's an adult entertainer, Michael. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Is that like a custodial engineer? Whatever way you want to spin it, make it sound professional. Thank you, um, Dylan Harper. Uh, she blows Misha Montana out of this orbit. Maria Davis says she has tattoos, but you can't see them unless she wears shorts. You see, that Maria is smart. There you go. There well you go. placed. There you go, Maria. Well placed well places. Out. Well, well thought out. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. All right. So well, I, now, I hold on, Spidey. Jack, you agree Spidey, with me? Uh, what are you going with here? Harper. By the way, she's half Irish, half Cherokee. What a combo! Go ahead. Definitely Dillian Harper. Oh, All right. Dillian Harper's beautiful. Next up. Yeah. Mia Malkova. Mia Malkova. Hello. Hello. Ding dong. <laughs> woo Woo! Woo! Mia. Mia. Yeah. Well, would, RJ goes, say, damn. Yeah, I would have to. Yeah, I, damn. I, I agree. Well, damn. <clears throat> damn. I would definitely agree with RJ. With, you know what? Mia's also in, the, in another orbit compared to Spidey. What say you, youthful young man there? Yes. Oh. Mike, you have nothing to say? Dude, I'm oh, agreeing right. with you MC. guys. You're and the I'm the MC. You're the MC. And Stinger's just saying, you're now Stinger. we are talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. And you don't see Stinger. a stupid-ass rose tattoo on that girl's Oh, no. By neck. the way, neither of them have, uh, you know, like in the on the neck or whatever. All right, now this is a rose I oh, can dude, get into. Dude, dude. Selena you're about to show, Rose. You're about to show a good friend of mine. That's right. Selena Rose. That's Loose cool. Cannon Smoke Show. Selena Rose is so... Hello. Hello! Ding dong! I'll just keep using that. that, 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 that I, I think them. you should go with that. Ding dong! What do we got over there, Jared? Do we get the hello, Jared. ding dong? Jared. Yeah, hello, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a beautiful woman. All right, okay. next up, 
She's not Cody. Oh my. She's not Dustin. No, she's not. But she, she's Anna Rhodes. She's an American dream. That's Lana Rhodes, That's Lana man. Rose. That's Lana Rhodes. Lana Rhodes is an American dream. Lana Rhodes. And by the way, Lana Rhodes blows everybody so far out of the American dream. <laughs> Hello? Ding dong! Yeah. Jared, what are we doing here? Lana Rhodes. Ding dong. <laughs> Jared, Jared. Put yes. that away. Nobody wants to see it. Next, what are, up, what are you doing over there, Jared? Next up, anyway. So so far, we got a blowout. Well, maybe some people want to see it, but I don't know about those two old guys. Misha Montana ahead. looks like a dumpster fire right <laughs> so, now, right? Dude, I can smell the smoke. Yeah, you ain't kidding. <laughs> next up, Harley Dean. Now here is one fine lassie, as Mr. Scott lassie. would say back in the days of Star Trek. And as he gets Stingus on is, his... Stingus goes, Mama Mia. And these oh, are porn oh, stars, by these the are, way. These are beautiful. I'm sorry. I'll tell you I'm what sorry. they are. Adult they are entertainers. adult entertainers, and they are all dignified, beautiful women who are very successful. Every single one we've, we've shown Fair so enough. far, okay? Fair enough. Uh, you know, these are no dummies. Dummy! Yeah! None. None of them. Uh, uh, Jared, what say you about the exquisite Jesus. Harley Dean? Now, that's some tight tattoos I'd like to see. Yeah, she's got to be good spots. Yeah, those, oh are, those are some good tattoos, honestly. Yeah, she's got great ones in good spots. Oof. Yeah, what, you, what say you, Jared? Ding dong. <laughs> Jared's ringing that bell there left and right. I got I to nice, tell you, the only you got good to fire seeing is Misha Montana right Yeah. Now. And know, I got to say, one thing that's bad, these are, like, today's porn stars, if this is what we got to challenge, like, this is older porn stars, right? Or these are newer porn stars? These are the, the current ones. Oh, they yeah, are. So you're the, all right. basically the current I'm sorry, I'm not well, well first versed. First of all, let me make this very clear. I don't know the whole genre, but when you asked me about this, right. I did, the internet's got everything. I'm like, top adult all stars right, let's, in the let's, industry. Let's go That's how old school. We're pulling out Seika. You said it wrong. Go ahead. You're supposed to say it like this. Seika! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All yeah, right, this is a tough one, dude. No, it's not because compared to Misha Montana, hello, <laughs> ding dong, <laughs> Seika is a legend. By the way, folks, you're looking at the Bruno San Martino of the industry. Oh, really? Right there, Seika. How yeah. many? How many? The how many sellouts did she have? Great, oh, tons! But the greatest thing she ever did was can her cheap agent. Really? Yeah. Oh, what was you, that? you never heard? <laughs> You never heard that story? No. Oh, my God. She thought she was going to get a money shot. She didn't even get a penny. <laughs> she paid a king's ransom. She f- for that? <laughs> paid a king's well, ransom. Well, what do you think, Jared? Yeah. Seika or? Seika. Absolutely. Ding, no, say it, Jared. Seika, Hello. Ding dong. <laughs> ding ding dong. dong. He's so excited when he's like, Hello. All right, finally. <laughs> that's great. But last, Evan Ginsberg. Oh. Now, now that's scorched earth. How hot is that? So Misha Montana, Evan Ginsberg. Oh, dumpster fire. D- dumpster fire. Yeah, I mean. Jared? I, 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 they're both pretty hot, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the baseball cap, the glasses, or the uh, microphone in his hand? It's the three-in-one combo. <laughs> He's killing it, Spidey. Oh, Spidey's my God. It Spidey, Spidey is Spidey, can it. you say one thing? Repeat after me. Rah! Rah! <laughs> He can't even do it. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> there you go. All right. Well, so that what we've fantastic. learned here Thank is you for, uh, the only true that, dumpster fire in this whole conversation is Misha Montana. You know, I was thinking about getting a tattoo on my gizzard. What do you think? I'll put one right oh, here. Oh, dude, please don't. Yeah, that's please messed up. Don't. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. That's going to look great when you see it. Jason says, if Seika is, is the Bruno, does that make <laughs> Jenna that... Jameson the Hogan? You're right. You are wow, correct. I no, love that. No, he is correct. Jenna Jameson is the Hogan. Absolutely, absolutely. What does that make Lisa Rand? For those out there who know Lisa Rand. And by the way, the mess <laughs> wants to, a mess wants to correct you. Go ahead. Lana Rhodes isn't in the industry anymore. She has two kids. Good for her. And a pet duck. Wow. <laughs> And you know what's interesting? Now, talk about someone that's going a little too much about a mess. You got problems, buddy. Well, either that or he's got a lot of good, sturdy wrist guards. (laughs) And I don't, I wouldn't blame him one bit. You leave mess alone. Mess is cool. How would you know that someone has a pet duck? Mess, how did you find out about the pet duck? Have Have you been to her house? There's Luce, always that possibility. Luce says, you know, meow. Way to go, miss. Luce says, meow. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of horny oh, guys out there. Maria, oh you better God. get out of this room before it's too I late. I give Maria credit for hanging in there with Maria these, might with get these pregnant guys. just being in this room. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. <laughs> but she's got her tattoos concealed. Come on. Everybody behave out there. All right. We're going to take Jeez. a quick commercial break, and we're going to be back with Head to Head, where we're putting up Rhea Ripley. Wow. Versus, Against? Versus, versus. Who? 
Who should? Who's the, who's he up against? I, I I don't know. I don't see it. Spidey, read it to me. Who's Raya going up against? Who's Raya up against? Uh, um... <laughs> Spidey doesn't have it either. We're all distracted after looking <laughs> at the, uh, looking at all those women over there. I don't know, but Raya's against somebody after this commercial. Yeah, break. check it out. Raya versus whoever. Stay tuned. Jimmy, I gotta take a dump. What? No. I mean, I need a dumpster. <sighs> well. For all those needs, you need to call Big V Dumpster Rental, Long Island, New York, 631-900-DUMP. Hmm. Elm Logistics, for all your logistic needs, call 631-299-3595. That's 631-299-3595. Elm Global Logistics, Pride Performance and partnerships. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Sport and non-sport cards, wrestling items, autographed items. We buy, sell, and trade. M&J Video Games and Collectibles, located at 1049 Queen Street, Southington, Connecticut. Call us at 1-860-479-9223 or 860 games M&J video games, and collectibles. Do you treat your dog as part of the family? (laughs) Well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. You need a body shop? You need engine repair? Auto Excellence. Collision Specialists. 631-261-6420. That's 631-261-6420. Auto Excellence. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty and Afaro. Only seen here out of Indie Music TV. Uh, A few things here. Right. RJ has, has, uh, says, RJ, a uh, reverse Trish. I'm sorry, it's reverse Jacqueline. I'm sorry, I was a little caught up. I want to remind everybody again, um, we have, following our show, is the first installment of the after show, starring ESO Creative and uh, Mr. Christopher Chris. Lee. Chris, I keep thinking right? black and you say that. Then we will be starting Mondays with Marty Jannetty, which will be canned this weekend, and I'll get that up on the network. And then we'll be adding shows, and we should have a whole, you know, a whole list of stuff for you guys to watch with some really good stuff, so it'll be fun. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Head to head, Farrell. Let's do it. All right. Rhea Ripley against Jacqueline. Wow, this is going to be pretty physical. Uh, As you know, folks, Head to Head has five different categories. Category number one is mic skills. How do you communicate to that audience? Do you have it or do you not? It's usually pretty obvious. Category number two, Matt skills. Hey, I love a good grapple. Hey, I'll take a good slugfest. Whatever you do, do you do it well? Or are you just a big stiff? Category number three, the it factor. Un, very much unlike eating at the airport diner where, you know, you might experience the shit factor after breakfast. This is more about, you know, do you have that little magical quality that just keeps the audience wanting more? Category number four, personal favorite of the Pharaohs, the back of the baseball card, belts, championships, money in the banks, battle royals. You you know, what do you got? Let's, let's see that high quarterback rating, unless you're the Jets and watching all the high quarterback ratings sign with other teams. Okay, and then there's, of course, category number five, and uh, category number five is uh, impact on the, uh, on the industry. Is yeah. that where we're at yeah, with that yeah. one? You know, uh, you know, I, as I say it all the time, you know, guys like a San Martino or a Hogan or a Flair or a Rhodes, are you a trailblazer or are you just uh, forgettable? So there it is, folks. Head to head, five categories. We pair them up and made a best woman win. All right, brother. Let's yeah. go. All right. First category. What are we doing there, Spider? We're going to do mic skills. Got a little uh, mic skills. Let's go with mic skills. All right. Um, I got to give that to Raya. Why? Because Jacqueline barely talked. 
And the little I've heard of Ray is so it's, it's okay. So I think Jacqueline. This is very. Really this is very talk. difficult because Ray is so really new to the industry. She's pretty good at it so far. She's in the good. limelight. Yeah. Um, Jacqueline wasn't bad on the mic, but I'm going to go just ahead. Didn't talk that much. No, she didn't. No. So I'm. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go with Ripley. I'm going to take this. Ripley. Yeah. I'm gonna, all right. So she's up one nothing. Now we got uh, Matt Skills. I don't know how controversial this is going to sound, but I think Jacqueline wins this one. Why? Jacqueline was a hell of a of a worker. Jacqueline, Jacqueline was a good wrestler. She's a man. great wrestler. You know, I'm going to put her above Ray Ripley. Ray Ripley is obviously physically impressive, but I I think overall the the arsenal of uh, skill set. I think Jacqueline's got her. I'm going to go with that too. I'm going to agree yeah, that Jacqueline yeah. again, what Rhea, a newer to the industry. No, Rhea's great. Jacqueline was Jacqueline was actually underrated yes, as was. a wrestler. Oh, no, yes, um, she, she was. Didn't get a, she didn't get enough in the limelight, I think. Yep, um, I agree, man. She was a stud. She could go. Okay. She could definitely ESO go. ESO says draw on number two. That's fair, man. I could see that. But I still feel like Jacqueline had a, a, a deeper skill set. Um, category number three, we've got the it factor. I'm going with Rhea. Rhea I think this is where Rhea. This is where Rhea on. blows yeah, blows yeah, her away. Yeah, Rhea's got an aura to her. Oh my god! And the Judgment Day Rhea. Okay, the sure. Rhea before this had it, yeah, but, not but not like, like this. this. No, not like this. This is first of all, we're talking about mommy. So let's get that straight. Yeah, you're right. You know that's Dom's mommy. So she's the shit. So I got to tell you, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago we discussed who Rhea was going to choose, right, or a week ago, mm-hmm. and you, you wanted to see her against yeah, Flair. Right, I wanted but... to see her against Bianca. Okay. I got to tell you, there was an altercation on Raw where mm-hmm. Rhea comes across Bianca. Mm-hmm. I'm still going to stand by it that that should be the match. Oh, okay. Charlotte, listen, this Charlotte is, is great. You do Charlotte realize is great. this is unfinished business. This had to happen. You know that, right? This is unfinished business. So what, are you going to take the belt off of Charlotte so she, so she wins yep. it again? Nah, maybe later down the road, but Ray is definitely getting her revenge. You know, that's how I feel about this you, one. Because you're getting Asuka yeah. against... Uh, Rhea, uh, Bianca. Okay. Right? Yeah, okay. To me... Is that official, by the way? It's going to be official. Okay. I mean, it's not there yet, but that's going to be the match. All right. In my opinion, I just feel like Rhea, Bianca could have been great. And again, I don't uh, know why we'll they're not... They're missing the boat the on Charlotte and Bianca, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree, but I just feel like from a storytelling standpoint, this was going to happen. That's why I said it. I'm like, this is happening. That's you fair. Know, I mean, Ray's got to get her payback. Otherwise, you know, can't advance. You JB gotta... says Charlotte's going to break her dad's record. I agree. But again, uh, you know. I don't look at the two the same, but I, Bianca, uh, I do agree Bianca that she's going to. Bianca, to me, is such a it factor. Mm-hmm. Her and Rhea go together. But let me, let's not reverse against the okay. head to head here. Okay. So we got a 2 1. Yeah, right? we got a 2 Rhea. 1 for Rhea. Go ahead. Yep, absolutely. Category number four, the back of the baseball card. Wait, what do you do with this one? It's a tough one. This one is because Rhea hasn't done much title-wise. Not yet. And Jacqueline's been a Divas champion. I don't want to say yeah, world's champion. Yeah, they didn't handle it the same way um, back She did in well day. in Texas. Um, honestly, Jeez. I think responsibly, I you have to give this to Jacqueline. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I agree. Right? Even though it's like, eh. No, I agree. Got to give it to Jacqueline. All right, so it's two to two, so this is going to come down to impact. Which is, which is very close. I'm surprised it's as close a, as this. Impact in the industry. How can you can't give that to Rhea? You have to give it to Jacqueline. Jacqueline's influenced the whole for the generation of wrestlers. See, this is this is where this is where this is I, almost unfair. This is where I'm going to disagree. with I mean, you. for Rhea, she doesn't have tons of you know. This is where I'm going to disagree with you because here's here's the hmm. argument I'm going to start. I know late. who's going to have a bigger impact in the end, Rhea. But here's where my argument's going to start continuing here, right? We okay, we're both big Hulk Hogan marks, right? Yes, that's true. Greatest of I all time. I haven't made my decision yet, by the way. I I, I, I got you, but I I want people to hear me out on this. Okay. If you look like pure numbers, pure numbers, uh-huh. okay, you might want, not want to admit it, but the tribal chief, the tribal chief yeah. is the greatest world's champion in the history of wrestling. Okay. That guy has, been, has drawn more money, right? They just broke an all-time pay-per-view record, mm-hmm. an all-time attendance record mm-hmm. dollar-wise. I wonder what happens when you adjust the dollars per, per, per decade. But, but you but can't. You can't. I know it, that they do, though. There's, there is a science. I got that. it. I wonder. You're, not some, gonna, you're never going to convince me Roman Reigns is worth more than Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. It's not going to happen. At some but point, okay. but at some point, you got to start recognizing 
I already do so, recognize right. his level of success. But He's now let's bring it back to Rhea and Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. So impact on the industry. Jacqueline, you're right. It's almost unfair because she's been around longer. Right. But, Her but I would, is, is, but I would is say that to be, you can fairly judge it now because of the years gone past. But I would say that people know Rhea Repley oh, more yeah. than they know Jacqueline. Probably, this one's a tough one. Make probably, a call. You're probably right about that. Lou says Roman is not better than Hulk, Hulk or I Austin. So agree. I would listen, Lou. I agree. I agree with you. I I'm totally not disagreeing. Agree. My point is. Sooner or later, everybody's going to have to admit, and this isn't over. What, this that run Ro isn't that over. Roman Reigns was the biggest star that of his Roman generation. might, and Roman might be the Which biggest star of any generation. He's not going to pass Hogan. It's not happening when, on dollars and cents. I don't care. He's up there. I understand. You get what I I'm got saying? You. No, I totally get. That, what all you're I'm saying. saying is that can't be disregarded. No, it can't. You but can't it, just go. It, that doesn't matter. No, I'm not saying it doesn't matter. It's just that I just feel like Hogan, Austin, and The Rock are in, the, but, are but in then, such rarefied But then you got the fan air. that goes, Bruno Sammartino didn't have the luxury of having cable. You know, you could make arguments Bruno for everybody. Bruno Sammartino was another, he was the greatest of his generation, and generations were, were presented through media differently. You know, Bruno was great decade. for his time it's because that's what business. wrestling was about. Wrestling was about ethnicity, ethnicity, right? Ethnicity. Ethnicity. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Play. Right? That's the way it was always set up. It mm -hmm. was always set up, you know, Puerto Ricans, blacks, whites, sure. Italians, yeah, Jews, it whatever. Back then. Right? Then it changed. So, Yes, for his generation, he was the greatest. But all I'm saying is Roman has to be in the discussion. Anyway, back to he Jacqueline. Is no, I do agree. He's Jacqueline. the greatest of his generation. This Jason is. just says, Hogan drew bigger ticket sales. Also, pay-per-views back then cost more since pay-per-views now stream so is much lower price. Changes. This is what you guys are not it forgetting, though. Changes. For a pay-per-view live gate, they yeah, just broke the all-time record dollar-wise. It right. beat WrestleMania three guys. Right. It, that those are facts. He broke WrestleMania three's dollars, and right. the one guy that's in every one of these matches is Roman of Reigns. And again, when you look back, when you guys get older, you're going to look back and go, "The Bloodline might have been the greatest storyline in the history yeah, the of younger, wrestling." The younger ones will, unless they're like you know marking. You, it up you're for, looking at a possibly the greatest storyline in wrestling it's history. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, and I'll say that right now. That's great. The Bloodline storyline is one of the greatest storylines in wrestling history. All right, Ray, Rhea, Rhea, Jacqueline. I'm going to go with Rhea only because long term her shadow is going to cast a larger shadow. So I am kind of shooting forward when I when I do this, but I'm going to have to go with Rhea. So I I totally get what you're saying. Um, hey Davio, Davio's in the house. Rhea's I'm going to go. I'm going to go. With, I'm going to go with Jacqueline just for the fact that we can't go in advance. Yes, you could see the light is is shining brighter, and yeah. it, it quickly will. Yeah. And once she wins a wins the championship at so WrestleMania, so this is a draw, really. Uh, yeah, you day. know what? Let's call it a draw. I think we should call this a draw. So we yeah, the, the head to heads a draw. Jacqueline Rhea a draw. I agree with you. I don't think it's responsible to go either way. You right know, it's now. funny. The diehard Rhea fans are probably furious right now. They probably think she should have won most of the. Uh, Categories, probably. She's too young in the business. That's the whole point. That's why impact on the industry, like I originally said, Jacqueline's had decades of girls probably wanting to be like her. So that's why I said if you forecast into the future, Rhea will probably cast a bigger shadow with all the fans she's making right now. Because as you pointed out, there's more fans right now with all the fannies in the seats with Roman Reigns, all the crowds and all the dollars. Rhea's, Rhea's playing to a pretty huge audience at a pretty high level. Exactly, a very high you know? level. And she is like, what? what is it? Is it just her size that I always lump her with? She's like almost, God, I hope this doesn't come out the wrong way, but it probably will. She's like a more badass, more athletic version of China. When was the last time we saw a woman this big that can do what Rhea does? There's like no one like Rhea. I want to challenge ESO Rhea on this. Awesome. ESO says the average price for WrestleMania three was a hundred dollars. Right. It would have been over a nine nine million dollar gate. Right. There's always that. They thing. have the gate that, numbers. That ESO. Math. They did over eight point five million dollars at the Royal Rumble in San Antonio. But I ask WrestleMania. You, hold on. WrestleMania three. Go check the numbers. Drew six million dollars. Mm -hmm. Gate. Gate. But I ask you this. Not including pay per views. Okay. We're talking live gate money sure not pay-per-view mm -hmm. different time yeah. pay-per-view costs 50 bucks 60 bucks yeah. i don't know i'd have to look up that number but we're talking live gate numbers what will be more famous hogan versus andre or sammy hitting roman with the chair i'm not 
it's not even close. You it's know Hogan what I'm and Andre. Saying. I understand what you're saying. Brother. And let's not forget that I don't know how you know just the anniversary came where Andre beat Hogan for the belt was how many million people watching live on TV. All, I, all I'm trying to say mm. is that when you look back, Roman Reigns cannot be He's, disregarded. No. Matter of fact, if I can... Lou bre- says inflation. I get it. Listen, can I briefly just throw this in? Good. Here's Here's what I consider basically the faces of the generations. Bruno San Martino, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, Steve Austin. So, so Austin slash Rock. You can throw Rock in. Why I not? think Austin slash Rock. Okay, Austin slash Rock. Right. Okay. John Cena. Yep. Roman Reigns. There you go. There's your major, like, you can fill in all by What about Bret Hart? What about Shawn Michaels? Right, what about right, Diesel? Right, right. What about... Blah, blah, blah. No. The, Bruno San Martino was the face from 1963 to 1977. Right. Then you had Backlund. Then you had Hogan. Then you had a flirtation of Macho, a flirtation of Warrior. Then you had a flirtation of Hart, a flirtation of Michaels. Here comes Stone Cold. Here comes The Rock. You notice how easy this is? Right, it is very easy. It's easy. Right. Easy peasy. Then you have Daniel Bryan. Then you got Sami Zayn. You forgot the skinny guy who complains a lot, the summer of punk. And punk, right? The punk is in there. And then then all of a sudden, then you have the Tribal Chief. And the Tribal Chief's reign... It's the longest since Hogan's. He's one of the all-time greats, folks. It's, it's already happened. It's already happened. I agree with you. He's one of the all-time greats, and he's the face of his generation. Now, I'm sure Seth Dobby Rollins just said, I, once, about that. I read once Andre the Giant was guaranteed a million dollars just being in the building for WrestleMania 3. I'd agree. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. And back in the day, a wrestler could really screw you up. If they didn't show up, mm-hmm. imagine, you imagine Andre saying, you know what, I'm not going to wrestle tonight. Are you kidding? Could you imagine what could have happened to that event? Every wrestler wanted to be on the card with Andre to make the cash. If you're on a card with Andre the Giant, you're performing in front of a sold-out arena, right? Andre sold out arena after arena. All you had to do was say Andre the Giant, and the place would sell out. Lou says Hogan got more than the whole WrestleMania three roster combined. I agree. Well, yeah. he should have. He, yeah, he deserved it. He deserved every last bit of it. I was not tuning in to see, you know, the undercard. I mean, it was part of it, but you you tuned in to see Hulk Hogan. Unless you didn't, then you missed the whole thing. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, with that, that, want to thank you guys for joining us. Oh my God, Stingers, you're killing me. Roman is overrated. That, that's I love Stingers, but Stinger's man, he just, he just hates on Roman. How come? I what don't is, know. What is Stinger have? Maybe, he's a, maybe he's a Rollins fan. Maybe he thinks Rollins is the shit. You can't know. hate on Roman, dude. The dude is the bomb. Do you really think that Roman himself is too worried about if people... Wait a minute, Stinger. You're not acknowledging the tribal chief. No, he's not. That's a, This is crazy. And don't let don't let Paul Hammond find out, yeah, Stinger. Because he'll just... be coming to your house to have a little discussion with you. What, are you going to hit you over the head with a bottle of gefilte fish? <laughs> Oi. <laughs> <laughs> the wise man. He's a nice Jewish Stingers boy. are saying, now what sells WrestleMania is a spe- uh, spectacle. Back this then it was the stars. Yes. Well, no, this is WWE, WWE change it. After it's, Cena. Well, don't you tune into the Super Bowl every year even though your team's not in it? Yeah. I mean, it is what it that is. That is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. My team's never in it. Listen. I tune in. The last great superstar, <laughs> the last great superstar was John Cena. But... Roman's Roman Reigns is now starting to make He's a case. Doing a good He's job. starting yeah. to make no, a case. In in an era where the WWE did not want stars, a star is born. I loved when he was basically reading Sammy the Riot Act this past week. You broke up my bloodline. You you messed with my family. Did you like that? I thought that that was, that was fantastic. It was fantastic. That was great. Roman's the man. All right, I love you guys. We'll see you next week, Pharaoh. You've been watching Monty and the Pharaoh, and until next time. Later. Uh, also, just uh, a reminder: not later. The after show, yeah, and right in a few minutes after this, enjoy, enjoy later. <laughs>